what's up guys today i just want to unbox um this phone it's called a uh, blue Bluebo maya max i think so yeah that's it blue maya max and i ordered the gold version this is a cinch is phone i mean it's very big phone so this phone will be good for media consumption if you want to play games watch movie you know and it's a budget phone because it's not very expensive i think i got it for 100 and 20 pounds i'm not sure yeah it's a very budget phone so it's not expensive but one thing i'm not sure is i've never used a bigger screen like this you know i've never go beyond 5.7 this is my biggest phone in history the lumia 950 xl you know i've never used um the six inch phone so i don't know how big i mean i don't know how comfortable it's gonna be using but let's see i'm not sure let's see um this is just the unboxing video and my first look. Um, that's the phone at the top. I'm just gonna put it at the side. Let's see what's in the box. Um, okay. What's going on? I have to. Um, okay. Oh, there's nothing here. So the charger must be here and the cable stuff and all of everything else. Oh, cool! I got some gift. <laughs> this is the fast charging. It support fast charging. It's a budget phone, like I said. You can see it's a blue ball on the charger. You can zoom in. Yeah, that's it. And this is the cable, obviously. The is the U is a USB Type C cable. So you you can't use your normal. A micro USB for this, so this is a USB Type C charger. Uh, what else? Wipe, wet and dry wipe. I don't know what this is for. Dust stick, dust absorber, guide sticker. I don't know what all this. I don't think I need all this. Uh, warranty, yeah. If you want to claim warranty, and this, this is my just reminds me of the only phone, you know. <laughs> This is the transparency case, and this is the. Uh, it's supposed to be a temper glass or screen protector. I don't know. Well, that's everything that is in the box. So I'm just gonna put everything aside, and let's see how the phone boots up. Let's see. Oh my days! I put this away. Okay, so put this away. So let's see how the phone boots up. Oh, this phone is huge. <laughs> okay, that's the fingerprint at the back. And uh, to be honest, it's not very bad. My hand can still reach. You can see. I mean, I like the design. So how come? Let's see. Let's compare with the size with the the Lumia 950. Um. When you compare the size with my 950, look at it. The 950 XL rather. This is a 5.7 inch phone. And then this is 6 inch. So it's about 3 inch. 0.3 rather. It's about 0.3 missing. So this little size here is not up to 0.3. So I'm just guessing it's the bezel, you know. So you know my, my biggest um, concern was would the phone be comfortable when I was buying it? But to be honest is very comfortable to use in hand you know it's very comfortable like I, like I, like you see so um this is the sim card oh it's finding very hard to focus okay now this is the sim card tray and this reminds me of iphone you know that's the button the mood button slide up and down as you can see and then on the side here obviously the power button the volume up volume down and nothing else at the back is just the brown blue bow. Um, let's put the phone on and let me remove this. Put this away. So let's put the phone on. I'm just gonna leave you and put it on now. It shouldn't take long to boot, but I'm not sure. Let's just see. Let's see how long it takes to boot. Um, oh, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> That's not bad. 
So I guess it's booted. No, it's still booting. So what was that for? Okay, finally booted. Uh, this is the phone, Bluebo Maya Max. It's a six inch phone. So let's see how the menus look like. Um, I need to zoom out so that I can get all the screen so you guys can see what I'm seeing here. Um, to be honest, it's not too bad. Whoa, it came with Microsoft Excel? Is that a joke? Oh, uh, Microsoft Word. Is it free? I'll be shocked. Oh, I might need to connect to the internet. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, sign up for free. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, this is a good one. If you you want to be using this for, for, for business, I mean, having... Microsoft Office, you know, will make the phone go a long way because um this let's keep this. I don't want to sign in. But still, I think you can sign up for free. I'm not sure. You know. So does he have one drive? Uh, that's the Excel. I think it's gonna be the same process, sign up for free. Um let's just keep it. New document. I can't believe this. Wow. And will I be able to save? Let's just see if we can save. You know, I'm getting good depression with this one. I mean, a lot of people have various reasons for buying a mobile phone, you know, but some people just want to use their phone, especially because the phone is big. You might want to use it for business consumption, you know, because it's got a bigger screen, you can do more. I think it's going to save, you know, and it did. Wow, that's good. I mean, I like it. I like the fact that um, it came with even Microsoft Office pre-installed. I think it's just okay. There's PowerPoint, and um, so where's Microsoft OneNote? Um, I have to admit, the UI is not bad. I've never used Bluebook before, you know, so. To be honest, the UI is not bad. It's not. Let's see if it goes landscape now. What's at the top? Um, just remind me of um, Google Nessus. So it's like almost stock Android, as you can see. Um, where is the settings? This phone is supposed to be running Android um, 6.0 Marshmallow. I don't know what this up not. Knox. I don't know what that means. I'll check that later. Um, supposed to be running Android 6.0. Yeah, it is. But to be honest, Android Nougat is hot already. So how come phone like this still running Android 6.0? We should be expecting Android 6.0.1. You know. But anyway, you can't really get much from a budget phone. To be honest, you can't really get much. Um. So the setting just looks like um, stock Android, you know, if you're familiar with stock Android, they, you, you understand how the setting does look like, you know, uh, the camera is 13 megapixel, the back camera, the front facing camera is 8, uh, 8 megapixel, you see, why the back camera is 13 megapixel, let's see how the back camera does work, let's put this maybe here. Hey you, she wanna stand up? Let's see. Oh, just my that horrible sound. I don't like it. Just my of um, what's it called? The telephone. To be honest, I don't like that sound. Doesn't sound. Whoa, it's not too bad. You know, but I doubt <laughs> if this. I'm not saying it's not, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's a, it's, a, it's a very terrible camera. It's a very good one, but I don't know. Maybe at some point, I don't have intent, to be honest, I don't have intention of comparing this camera with any phone. But I will be talking more on the camera once I get hang of the phone, you know. 
it's not too bad looking at it on the screen you know and when you zoom in though it does have much noise and looks grainy but what that's what you expect when you zoom in too much you know I mean uh, I'm getting good impression on the phone just on first look at I'm getting good impression at and uh, the volume and I'm sure there's no music on it uh, this is a 3 gig 32 gig ROM version I don't know if there's any other version but this is a 3 gig 32 gig ROM let's see how many um, storage is left after installing so I've used 0 0.9 gig out of 25.43 gig and um, what about the RAM memory? Yeah, got 1.9 gig free. So what's eating? And then to be honest, it does it okay. It does have some bloatware. What's Blue Bull Beauty Snap? Uh, I'm guessing that's their own version of um, some camera self. So maybe it's to promote selfie. Yeah, if I'm not making mistake. Um. But the animation uh, reminds me of the HTC, you know, the, the old HTC, HTC design, you know, the way it just animates front and back, you know, like a 3D. It's not bad, you know. I just like the fact that, um, okay, let me connect to the Wi Fi. Let's see, um, Wi Fi. What sound is that? That's horrible. Okay, um, immediately I put the um, Wi-Fi key, I got this notification saying um, I need to update the phone. I hope it's not going to take long. It's just 16 megabytes. Let's see. It's already, it's already downloaded. So let's just see. I'm going to stop the video and come back when the update is done. So. I'm gonna stop the video now then I come back when it's fully updated okay guys the update has finished now so um so far so good excuse me so far so good the phone is not performing too bad I mean considering the price you know it's a mid-range phone it's not even a mid it's a budget phone it's just big it's just a budget phone with big screen six inch the screen is not even 1080p though the screen is made by sharp you know sharp um make the screen but it's 720p and then it's not bad i mean it's not a much another thing that i want to mention is just um the battery the battery at the back of the phone is um six four thousand two hundred million battery yeah it's four thousand two hundred milliamps and um is powered by MediaTek processor so i don't expect much you know i expect a lot of lags with this kind of processor because it's a budget processor 6750 you know mtk 6750 clocking at 1.5 gigahertz though it's an eight core processor but still <sighs> i don't know anyway i'm still gonna do an in-depth review a full review you know a full review of the phone so then we can judge the phone but so far so good you know I'm liking the phone, it's almost on full brightness and if you want to reduce it to you see you can barely see nothing on it. You know, you can still see something, you know. That was a minimum brightness, you know, nothing, zero brightness. So I'll just leave it that way. You know, um oh, that was the touch light. And this is nothing, nothing. I don't think um people use this kind of hubs and it's got in beauty film radio, which is very good. Um there's nothing much okay uh, let me test the sound there's no music on it so I might need to go to YouTube okay YouTube is never print installed gotta go to Google Chrome come to YouTube Let's see um, I'm gonna need to log in that's why I need to open YouTube let's just see um, let's 
let's just see how the sound is okay it is that's the highest volume so that's the highest volume so this is what i'm saying what's up guys it's like watching on um full screen you know um today is another watching 1080p video. it's not um, even 1080p 720p and the, the screen is not too too sharp i mean it makes the video the looks a little bit horrible but it's a full when you talk about full screen aspect i mean you can see it's not too bad it's, it's loud enough it's loud enough it's loud enough to be to be fair with you and uh, like i said it's for people who can't afford i want to stop this video this kind of phone is for people who cannot afford um big pro phone like um high high pricey phone and just won't enjoy big screen i mean it's not gonna disappoint in my own opinion so um guys i think i'm gonna stop there uh i shall be doing more videos especially the gaming aspect because i want to see how this phone will cope with games there's nothing much to talk about the camera it's just a 10 megapixel camera and i expect it to be at least good i'm gonna put this up on where so i'm gonna talk about the full review but i will be doing more of gaming aspect of this phone you know so guys um that was the phone blue bull my max thanks for watching my video god bless bye